everybody welcome back to the channel it's a beautiful mostly sunny day except for those Kim trails back there <laughs> a few clouds off yonder way but I don't know maybe in the mid 30s so we're doing pretty good we had a pretty good snowstorm actually here a day or two ago and made the corral muddy again but the sun and the wind has really come along to help out so come on down we're gonna start graining the steers of course i say start we've actually started about two days ago but anyways we started and we're doing dusty and eeyore so they're next on the list old eeyore right over there and i uh, gotta get rid of the bull this is gonna be fun come on little joe up to up to it's gonna get rowdy on me don't turn around come on Let's go. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Don't. Come on, Joe. <laughs> Man, he's getting pretty thick there. Looking good. Okay. Hit the gate. Well, and then Dusty decides to walk out. Dusty, come on. Huh. All right. You back up. I ain't playing this. I ain't playing your game, little Joe. Look at that. He's like, your little whip ain't gonna do nothing to me. Come on. He's getting feisty. Well, I thought this was gonna be easier. And Dusty's really giving me a fit. Here we go. Alright, there we go. Okay, you go over the other one. You guys, come over here. One of you come here. This isn't for the birds. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Oh, for Pete's sakes. What is going on here? All right, birds. Huh. Okay, on a side note, guys, these white ducks are really getting on my nerves. More particularly the males. They're getting mean. A lot of the other ducks, the Cayugas, are scared half the time. And they're hiding out because these big three males are following them around and just really giving them the business. So, boy, I'm telling you what. Today would have been a good day, maybe, temperature-wise. But I was just too busy, so hopefully within the next week or so, unfortunately, some of those are going bye-bye. I have to say I was very grateful that the day after we had this most recent snow that you guys didn't see, that the sun came out and the wind picked up. Oh, uh, because you guys, you know how it is with the, the mud. And we just dried out, and you can see it's sloppy again, but... It could have been much, much worse. Look at them two calves over there. Best friends. <laughs> oh boy, where's Betsy at? I think that's her straight back there. So yeah, that right there, just past the calves is Betsy. And I tell you what, um, she hasn't calved yet. She's grown increasingly more uncomfortable <laughs> with every passing, passing day. And... Uh, She's definitely gotten looser back there and has more mucus coming out and her uh, bag looks like it's filling in. So we're hoping it's sooner rather than later. But of course, you know, timing is up to that calf in there, I reckon. But anyway, she's she's really uncomfortable and uh, it's time, you know, but hopefully we can get her done in the sunshine. So maybe tomorrow or so, but uh, we have another storm coming in. So hopefully it won't get too bad. And everybody's having a good time here. Hey, Brooke. Okay. Boy, look at old Midnight standing there, guys. <laughs> he almost he almost looks like a steer now. You know, his hay belly that he had earlier in the year. If you guys remember that. And if you don't, go back and check it out. But he had hay belly real bad. And, uh, man... 
for him that's pretty normal looking you can see it's a little bit there but man he's really come around he's starting to look like a actual steer now i'm pretty excited about that all right midnight let's go come on looks like you're not even really that hungry come on yeah that's a good looking steer now boys here we go Oh, Betsy, when, you, when is that calf going to come? Hopefully not in the middle of the night. I get up in the night and check her, but uh hasn't come yet. But she's getting there, guys. She's that big old pregnant lady, uncomfortable. I don't even know where you put your food. Ooh, you got a big belly this time. Let's hope there's not twins in there. Is there twins in there? Huh? I don't know. We're going to find out. I just noticed that Holly's calf right there went to the bathroom. And uh, her poop was pretty runny. So we're going to keep an eye on her. Make sure she's not scoured out. And if she is, I'll have to give her a little bit of the... Something or other. That teramycin or whatever it is. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I might go ahead and give her one of those pills because with the cold nights we're having and stuff, and it's just not a good time to get sick. So we're going to try to beat it to the punch, and uh, hopefully she'll be all right. I should have known you'd be over here to finish it off. Let me just tip this over. There we go. <laughs> Man, he loves that stuff. I don't blame him. Well, I just gave a little calf a little scour pill. And uh, looks like she's at the beginning stages of it. So, better to get out in front of it, guys. Especially when you're in a corral system. And with the weather we've been having, you know, um, hadn't been able to clean up the corral as often as we were liking to because it's too frozen. So they get some bacteria sometimes, and that's what she's got. But as you can see, she's a little panty, but not real weak yet. And I can tell you, when I had to wrestle with her there to get her held, she's still got some pretty good strength. So I think we're getting there in plenty of time. You can see a little bit of poop under her tail there. So good deal. We're going to get her done. A couple days treatment. She'll be back to normal, hopefully. And uh, I don't like doing that, but I don't like them dying either. Thanks for coming along, guys. I gotta wrap this up. Got a birthday dinner to go to, so we're gonna call that good. I'll check in tomorrow, let you guys know how that calf's doing and if Betsy's gonna go into labor or not. So thanks for coming along. We'll catch you back out here. Have a good one.